Hello and welcome back my fellow Vuperians to Universe Sandbox and today we're going to be looking at putting life on Venus because a recent report has actually put out the fact that a certain amino acid was actually found in the cloud formations in Venus and we're pretty confident that the only way that that could be made is in the case of there being life so the question arises is there life in the clouds of Venus because that would be pretty cool I mean, we've been looking at Mars all this time, but was it Venus? Were, were we wrong? Were we looking in the right, wrong place? Were the Soviets correct? Uh, that would that would be quite a win from the grave that they were looking at the right planet the whole time. All right, so how are we going to uh, terraform Venus? That that's a that is a great question. It is uh, 462 degrees Celsius or 863 degrees Fahrenheit, which. It's a little bit past on the scale from Norway to Florida. We're a little bit past Florida. We're going into like, I don't know, past Florida. <laughs> very, very warm. So one of the things that we're going to have to do is decrease the amount of heat that's being trapped inside of the atmosphere, which obviously is being trapped mostly by greenhouse gases. And we can, wow, that is quite a bit of Earth atmosphere, 93.2 times Earth's atmosphere. I mean, the really easy way to do this would be to just reduce the atmosphere mass by turning it down. But I want to do this kind of realistically, so we will simulate a massive impact on the surface of Venus and try to see if we can get it to jettison some of its atmosphere. Um, so let's do an object about the size of Mercury. I think if I pull this off correctly, maybe a grazing shot, uh, the lighter elements should be able to just get ripped off or vaporized even. Uh, let's see, let's see. Can throwing a massive object at another object make the object colder? We will see. I mean, initially it's definitely going to be warmer. Okay, this is not really a grazing shot. Uh... Uh, all right, no, that was pretty direct, but I think we actually did manage to <laughs> destroy the atmosphere, so well, let's quickly check the atmospheric map. Oh, no, still 93.2 Earths. Uh, the surface pressure is kind of going all over the place, though. Ooh, Vetus is not happy after that. Look at the heat, 7,000 degrees. Yikes. Will it start venting the atmosphere? I mean, that's the hope. <laughs> we may have just made things way worse. No, no, no atmospheric venting. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, like, the hydrogen and water went to 0%. It's just that the game doesn't simulate the atmospheric mass along with that stuff. So, you know what? Benefit of the doubt, we'll just switch it to one, one Earth atmosphere, just, just because it's not going to change itself. Um, and let's see what happens now. The effective temperature is now negative, negative 80 degrees, and the equilibrium temperature is dropping rapidly. Obviously, Venus is in a very interesting position now because it's completely melted, um, so any life that was already on Venus is now gone, but you know, we have to colonize Venus, which means if we have to remove all the native life, that is, that is a risk I'm willing to take for the team of humanity. All right, the effective temperature is still really low. The temperature is dropping rapidly. We're almost under a thousand degrees. This is almost, almost bearable, you know. Thousand degree shower in the morning, pretty standard. Man, this is a real throwback to math class, you know? We can see the derivative in real time. Because um, obviously the rate of change is going down, so I'm taking basic calculus or anything, this is this is, this is derivative porn right here. <laughs> Look at it go! In an actual real life system, this is one of those math problems that you're like, wow, this doesn't relate to the real world in any way, but you'll be like, wow, Spike Viper could have used this. Oh wait, wait, we can actually see the little bounces getting more intense as it goes around the sun. That's a good sign, that means that the uh, sun is becoming the major influence. All right, Venus, how's it looking? Oh, 465 degrees. We could bake bread on Venus now. Fantastic. Hopefully whatever's living on Venus likes bread a lot. 
Oh, what is the equilibrium temperature now? I'm really curious. Uh, what are we looking at? 33, 31. Oh, oh, that's too high. All right, so we're gonna change the light out. Ah, nope. Up. Oh, all right, we'll just block all, block all heat coming into the planet. Okay, okay, that's actually reasonable though. We can, we can, we can live with that. 21.6 degrees isn't terrible. Uh, now the composition, we're gonna want to put some water. Onto Venus. Oh, it's so hard to see still with the atmosphere like that. Um, is that actually from the Albedo? No. Yeah. That's too bad. Too bad, honestly. I wish it would change the thickness when we change that. Uh, let's go ahead, go to the tools, grab material, get some water, and just really sprinkle some water on there. Excuse me. Excuse me, I said sprinkle some water on there. Can you please assist me in my water sprinkling? There we go. It's still really hard to see, and I can't really tell if I'm having an effect. Um, look at the composition. There is definitely water on the surface now. A very, very tiny amount of water. I think I can actually see it. Or is that just the surface of Venus? It's, it's hard to tell, like I said. I mean, let us keep sprinkling some water on it. It's like a plant. Venus is a plant now. Are those little water droplets coming out? I, uh, we can go to the surface view and we can switch it to where I want. Ah, there we go. Surface, water depth. Oh my god, no, there is definitely some some water on there. Yeah, I can I can actually see it now. It's sprinkled all over the place. Alright. That means we've got an atmosphere. We've got sustained water. Looks like we've actually got a little bit of an ocean forming. Hard, hard to tell. Uh let's go to the appearance and make it easier to see the atmosphere. <laughs> Uh, city lights on, if habitable, no, not habitable, really? Oh, oh, what have I forgotten? Something horribly wrong. Go to the composition, check the, no, Earth similarity is at 97.1%. Life likelihood is at like 66%. I guess you just can't see the lights because of the atmosphere. Is that why? A little bit concerned now. Okay, back to composition. Magnetosphere. Uh, maybe it's because of this. Hmm. I don't think that really matters, though. I mean, in real life, it certainly does. <laughs> All right, so we got water. We've got beautiful, beautifulness. I wonder if we put more water on if the likelihood of life is increasing over time. Oh yeah. So it looks like it just needs more water. So we will we will increase the amount of water so that it's happy. More water, more life. <laughs> Kids drink more water. See, you will die less. Probably true. City lights? Still no city lights. Wow. Tough crowd. Very tough crowd. I just want my aliens. That's all I want. All I want for Christmas is aliens on Venus. Okay, we'll just do 10 times whatever it was before. There we go. There we go. They can't complain now. This is this is a lot of water. <laughs> we're, we're really turning Venus into an ocean, but that's all right. If it gets us livable, that it's fine. Like I said, destroy the whatever is already there. Who cares? It's all gonna be fine. Wow, we, we are just adding a lot of water. It's almost at 90% like Yeah, I'm gonna say it's the atmosphere. Let's go ahead and make it so that we can't see the atmosphere really quickly. Atmosphere off. Yeah, look at that! We've got cities! Oh my god, that is so neat looking. Look at that! Oh, wow. That is a really cool...
cool looking planet. I really like how that turned out. I want to get cities like over here. See if we can just get a good random seed. Oh, perfect. Damn, now that's a thumbnail moment. If only we could get the atmosphere looking like perfect as well. That is not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do, game. You know that's not what I want to do. Okay, I just... Oh, that isn't what I wanted to do either. I don't want to use the edit button at all. I just want to click on Venus and not edit it. All right, uh, show atmosphere. <sighs> the atmosphere is so annoying. I wonder if we can modify the atmosphere, make it less thick. No, no, I don't think so. Can make it like cool and green. I kind of like that. If it wasn't so absolutely. Oh, uh, man. Gives me a really hard time. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to call this successful. Even if we couldn't get the atmosphere to look cool. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's not really our fault. That's just the game. We'll just remove that. But look at that. Aliens on Venus, just like possibly in real life, except we definitely would have noticed if there were cities unless the Soviets lied. Oh my god, is Lenin just hiding out on Venus? Wow. Really makes you think. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.